fall security and some of the things you're really curious about. What are the, the maybe more intangible things that you, as you enter your first game as permanent head coach, um, that, that are on your mind? I'm, you're just curious to see what happens. Well, I, I think there's certain things you want. You want to be clean. You know, you don't want penalties. Like, you know, you, you want to take care of the football. You want to tackle. You want to block. Uh, you want to see the energy. You want to see what guys, you know, the, the, the stage isn't too big for them once they get in the, in the, uh, in the arena. There's going to be certain things in the game one. You're going to see things during the game that you never saw in practice. That's just kind of the way it works in that first game. There's going to be jitters. And then guys kind of fall into their training. Um, and that's typically how it works. Uh, find out where we can play with depth. Uh, we like to play at depth at every position if we can. And so the more depth we can build, the stronger we'll be at the end of the game and at the end of the season. So those are all things looking at. Brandon Bowen is going to start a right tackle. Obviously, it's been a long road for him. What did you see from him this summer, and, and why did he win the job? First off, his attitude was uh, as good as I've been around this this year. You know, he has been through a lot. Uh, personally, he's been through a lot with the injury. And so to see the way he's smiling, the way he's uh, got a lot of energy, the way he's working, he's kind of changed his body with Mick in the, in the, in the uh, weight room. And I just love his approach right now. He's practicing at a high level. And, um, you know, when you're going against Chase Young and Coop and those guys every day in practice, and, you know, if you're blocking them, then, then you're doing a hell of a job. And so he has. He's done that. And, He's taken a mature approach to this thing. I think he's shown some leadership. He's more of an example guy than, than a vocal guy, but um, this is a guy who you know I think is going to have a great year. Second row right, Kyle. Yeah, I was curious, this is an offensive mind head coach, what your involvement in defensive game planning or defensive meetings is? Uh, very little. Very, that's why that's why we hired you know, um, you know the guys that we did. There's so much experience there and a lot of trust in those guys. Um, if I see something, then I'll go down there and ask why. Um, usually they have a quick answer, and you know I trust those guys. And, and I think you know, anytime you want to go run your offense or run your defense, I think if someone comes in and starts meddling around, that, that it's hard. And so um, you know certain standards, we have certain agreements on the way in and non-negotiables, and um, and so you know we'll, we'll see where the season goes. But but I trust those guys. Did you talk about being fired up for Saturday? Um, how, how much did being in charge last August and the rest of the games kind of normalize the first camp? <coughs> Uh, the nerves and anxiety, that that's not going to go away. Yeah. I mean, understanding what's at stake every time you step on that field, you know, that, that's part of it. So it doesn't matter if I'm uh, game one or, or game, you know, 300. You know, it's always going to be that way uh, because there's an expectation here. And, and, I, and I get that. Uh, that being said, I think, you know, at, at night, you know what to expect. Uh, you've walked through it before. We've, we've gone through pregame. We've gone through Friday. We've gone through the skull session. We've gone through the pregame. We've run out of the tunnel. We've done all those things together other than a few of the freshmen. So uh, we've walked those shoes already. So so that, that's good to know. It's a little comforting that way, but at the same time, we've got to produce. Uh, fourth row middle, Dylan. Um, how much uh, are you expecting the bowl position to be coming just right away to uh, into, the, into the defensive scheme? Yeah, I'm excited to see what that does. You know, those the bullet guys are, you know, they, they're, they're talented guys. And so we want to see, see how that goes. But I think that, um, you know, the skill set that, that they bring to the table um, is that that I think fits them well. So in terms of what we're going to ask them to do uh, is is really fit, fits what they can do. So I'm uh, excited to see what they can do on Saturday, see how it fits in, see how it develops as the season goes on. Front row middle, Joey. You've talked about J.K. Dobbins being kind of a workhorse for you earlier this season. Do you go into a season with a target number of carries for him per game? It's been a while since you guys had a guy get like 20 carries a game. Yeah, no, not really. But he's going to have to have some 20 carry games. That's it. And uh, he's been practicing with his pads down. He's been practicing tough. And, you know, he's gotten stronger. Uh, he's lost, I, th I think, like 4% body fat, which for him is, is tremendous. So I think he's ready for that kind of season. You know, he's been kind of splitting time with Michael over the last couple of years. And now he's going he's to be the workhorse. And I think he's ready for that. And as far as the, the injury policy, was that entirely dictated by your medical staff? Did you have input at all?